Assalamu alaikum guys. These 10 days that are the uh, 10 days of the month of Dhul Hijjah in which are the uh, the days of Arafah, the day of Eid and whatnot, these are the the greatest days in the year. They're even better than the last 10 days of the month of Ramadan. Scholars mention the last 10 nights of the month of Ramadan are the best nights of the year. But in terms of the days, the best days of the year is these 10 days of the month of Dhul Hijjah. Now the actions on these days are the best actions that you can do or rather the reward that you get for the actions of these days are better than, day, uh, than any other day to the point where the Prophet ﷺ, uh, was asked you know what about a person who does jihad for the sake of Allah are these actions that a person does on this day the charity they give, the salah they pray, the fast that they may do, the Quran they may read is this better than even a person who done jihad? The Prophet Ali said, Yes. Yes. Unless the person did a jihad in which he came back with nothing. He died in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he lost everything. He spent all of his wealth in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's very encouraged to do acts of worship on these 10 days. Now, the acts of worship are two types there's acts of worship that benefit you, and then there's acts of worship that benefit others. Already you're going to get a massive amount of reward inshallah ta'ala if you did acts of worship that only benefited you. For example, like fasting, reading Quran and praying salah in these 10 days. Um, but then the acts of worship that benefit other than you, you now get the reward of that which benefited the other people as well. And the kind of acts of worship that are like that is like da'wah, Seeking knowledge But also charity And Charity is one of those things that People quite commonly Do in these 10 days anyway And I'm sure you guys Have been planning to do so anyway I want to bring to attention A cause that I think Could be beneficial And needed And that is the cause of Syria Recently we spoke A lot about Palestine, we spoke about Gaza Raise money for Gaza Because the people of Gaza were in need And we saw that um, But what we forget Is that You know There are others that are suffering as well And we tend to only Pay attention to the suffering of those That make it To the mainstream media Or to social media If Syria is on social media We we'll talk about Syria And we care about Syria And we we'll forget about Palestine if the Uyghur Muslims are was trending on social media, we'll forget about Syria and Palestine. We'll focus on them. And although it's, you know, it's human nature to focus on that which is important, it's important that we remind ourselves of the plight of others as well. Uh, the same way the situation in Gaza is bad and it hasn't changed, Syria is bad as well. Nine years on, people are still struggling, still getting killed, still getting bombed, still living in refugee camps. Living with trauma So inshallah wa ta'ala We decided that uh, After doing our fundraiser for Gaza uh, We're shifting our focus towards Syria For these 10 days inshallah wa ta'ala So hopefully you guys will be generous And you'll give for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala In these 10 days So that we can Do something For our other Muslim brothers and sisters That are also struggling Donate the link below as generously as you can Subhanakallah wa bihamdik Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant Astaghfiruka wa tawbidu Assalamu alaikum